No, I don't live in a tin shack. Bet spent $5 on Rumble. No win for the toe today. Not today. Good morning. This is the clerk. Benton County Jail. I just have a couple of questions that I'm hoping you can help me with. Uh oh. Okay. So I have a Lucas Hansen that's going to be called today. Okay. I don't have a public defender application or an order regarding that. Do you happen to know if there was, if that individual wants to proceed pro se? This looks like a there he is, by the way. Live and in living color. Okay. Uh, Hanson's telling me he's already assigned a public defender, Chung Mo. If he's got other matters, then he would be assigned and was approved for public defender, then he would have one. But if he didn't nervous. apply in this file, we would not have appointed one for today on this um, trespass case. Yeah, I, I, from what I think I'm hearing from him, he did not apply because he just... had one assigned already. Uh, he says he will just proceed. Proceed pro se today? Okay. And then same thing with Mr. Evers. I have a note indicating that there might have been a private attorney, but I don't see anybody's filed a certificate of representation. They did let him keep yet. his normal clothes on. I don't on. see any private attorney outside of Mr. Peterson, who's here on a separate matter. Okay, one second. I'll ask you. Thank you. What are I don't think anybody else is on Zoom besides me. Okay, he said he uh, is, has Kimberly Stomas um, representing him. I think this is a kill stream world exclusive. Okay, so he wants to proceed pro se today? You want to, you want to proceed pro se on your own? Uh, yes, he does. Sounds good. Thank you so much. We do have another matter that looks like it's ready. Um, so we'll call your, we will call everyone's case as timely as we can. Thank you. Frosty Toad sent three dollars Aaron is a dumb fucking faggot. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Boy, he was talking big not too long ago, wasn't he? Dancing around in that ring. He doesn't look so big right now, does he? Jail and court has a way of doing that to you. And felony counts. Can't get over that. Oh man. Can I zoom in on him? Let's see. There he is. There he is. Another win for the toe. Ah, <laughs> uh, you shouldn't have fucked with me, bitch. Just on a whim, I was like, I'm going to try to get this link. And he thought he was going to escape what everybody else had to suffer through. Not so fast, my friend. How'd I get the court link? Oh, I shouldn't Mr. Know. Peterson, are you still with all us? Methods. Is this all Yep. Looks like he's been crying. I mean, he very well may have. Doesn't look like the same old toe, does it? Only line seven on the in custody calendar, state of Minnesota versus Aaron Michael Impulse. This is court file number 73CR246910. We're here today for a first appearance. Just a reminder to anyone that is in the hearing room today that um, while this is a public hearing, pursuant to rule, general rule of practice 4.01, there is to be no recording of any court proceedings except the official court reporting and recording that is done here in the courtroom. Any violation of this court's rule that no recordings should be taken of this proceeding is punishable by contempt of court, including jail sanctions. Furthermore, any disruptions to this hearing will also be considered uh, contempt of court and may be punished by contempt of court sanctions. The court expects all hearing observers and participants to follow the court rules just as if you were present here in the courtroom. Uh, we are here today for a first appearance. Mr. Peterson, I'm not recording you reviewed it. Mr. Imholt's rights as well as the allegations. I have judged we wait reading. Thank you. Combined with Rule 8 today. I uh, judge we agree to accept Rule 8 materials by mail and we would ask for an omnibus hearing. Thank you, Ms. Delaney, as to release conditions. The state's requesting $100,000 unconditional 
or zero monetary bail to standard conditions. They say uh, not leaving the state of Minnesota. This is a recording of live stream. No contact with the CR as well as the 500 It's not a recording. Restriction. $100,000 bond. Be prohibited from directly or indirectly talking about discharging and or harassing KCR online, on social media, and or during any online broadcast show that he participates in or has control of. Fuck. I believe your honor has read the complaints. I won't go into that specific information as the court's well aware of the circumstances of this case. I do believe that the conditions as requested are appropriate given the overall um, circumstances of the charges as well as um, additional information. A hundred thousand dollar bond! Online broadcasting. <laughs> um, he does also have a history of not abiding by court orders and no contact orders specifically. Um, and violates them via an online broadcast show that he does have. Up. He does have an HRO in place um, protecting a different individual. He recently was sentenced for an HRO violation. That violation circumstances were um, violations via his online broadcast. And so I am not for that specific up. condition regarding not directly or indirectly talking about KCR um, in order to protect her from further harassment. And also, if that does occur, well, there the goes a show. Weekend, <laughs> um, I would note that I did look up case law regarding a condition specifically regarding this. I could not find anything on point in Minnesota specifically, but I did find a Second Circuit Court of Appeals case um, where a similar cir or a similar condition was imposed. Um, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals did find that it would not violate freedom of speech um, as it was reasonably related to the nature and circumstances of the offense, as well as um, it was narrowly tailored. I'm not um, getting only an echo. Um, discussion oh, regarding right. the victim in that specific case. Um, I did pull the yeah, direct language that. from um, the defendant's HRO protecting a different individual. Um, so that's the same language that I believe it was out of Sherburne County ordered regarding that individual. Um, and so I'm asking that it also... Um, be in this case oh, for KCR. Um, additionally, I would ask for omnibus um, to be just held within myself. time. And I believe Mr. Peterson and I both are requesting that that be in person. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. As to release conditions. Judge, it's my understanding that my client has a single misdemeanor conviction concerning a harassment restraining order. The current they uh, charge the most serious charge, but your honor, I uh, talk about the news in my life and my life penalty is the news. of three years in prison. Um, I say this for context um, concerning the severity of charges compared to other uh, more severe charges. Um, my client is a homeowner and has lived in Minnesota all his life. He's 37 years of age and divorced with uh, three school-aged children. He has an Associate Arts of Arts degree from Brown College um, and is the owner of Steel Toe Media. He advises me he has no felony record, um, no record of crimes of violence with the exception of the single misdemeanor HRO uh, that the prosecutor mentioned. Um, this matter went out as a complaint warrant very recently. Um, he retained me on Friday and we had a plan for him to turn himself uh, in this morning so we could address conditions of release. Um, I would suggest that the request for $100,000 on conditional bail is excessive. Um, and while we agree that um, harassing comments are inappropriate, I know this has to be balanced with a person's constitutional right to fair speech and any free speech and any prohibition on speech should be narrowly tailored. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Um, I've read the complaints. I reviewed the allegations. I think because um, what the court is most interested in uh, ensuring here is that Mr. Imhold understands um, and is going to abide by the court's orders to not 
harass or have any contact with the alleged victim here. I do think that uh, substantial monetary bail, which if posted would not come with the same conditions, um, is um, talk now. necessary um, to ensure um, that he continues to make court appearances and um, continues to follow the court order, court's orders moving forward. So I do think some substantial unconditional bail is appropriate. I'll set that at $75,000. In the alternative, he can be released today without having to post any monetary bail, but he is to uh, abide, um, he is to remain law abiding. He is to make future court appearances. He is to keep in contact with his attorney. He is to keep the court updated of any change in his address. He is not to leave the state of Minnesota without um, permission of corrections. He is to not have any contact with the alleged victim in this case, KCR. He is to stay 500 feet away from her residence. The court is also going to order that he abide by all active harassment restraining orders and also that he is to not have any indirect uh, uh, communication with KCR, which would include making disparaging <laughs> comments specifically about her or harassing her on any medium which would include in person, over the telephone, text message, online, social media, or broadcast through any um, podcasts or similar online shows. The court does believe that that restriction on simply not mentioning KCR is narrowly tailored um, to relate specifically to the rights and safety of the alleged victim in this case. Um, so I will impose that condition as requested by oh. the state. We'll set this for an omnibus. It will be an in-person hearing. Ms. Dalene, anything else for the record? 75K. Can I just clarify regarding the restriction, um, regarding the communication but online or by though, any so. other means? Um, Your Honor did say indirect. Would that also include direct? Of course. Yes, direct or indirect. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that the record is very clear about that. Otherwise, I have nothing further. Thank you. Mr. Peterson, anything additional? No, Your Honor. Uh, demanding speedy? We are not demanding speedy, Judge. Um, uh, I discussed this issue with my client, and we want to thoroughly review and investigate the case. I also have some other matters in um, September that are that could be a, at least one lengthy trial. So um, for those reasons, Rare we're not asking w, for a yeah, speedy sure. omnibus hearing within 28 days. All right, thank you. We'll set this matter um, without regard to time at this point. I, the state is asking for it to be within time. Um, and if there's any specific conflicts, Mr. Peterson and I can discuss with the court clerk. We'll note the state's speedy request and then the next hearing date will be set in coordination with counsel. Um, I believe that addresses everything for the record. Thank you for your appearance. This will conclude the hearing. Thank you. Also, you're always supposed to say uh, thank you, Your Honor, uh, at the end. But, uh, of course, he has no, you know, uh, sense, I guess. <laughs> Didn't say a word. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.